Hi there, artist. So we are going to be starting some frog clay sculptures today. And so today I'm gonna to show you how you can make the lily pad base. And we're gonna start our frog shape today. So I'm gonna set this one aside because it's actually still drying and show you. You are going to get a chunk of clay and with it, remember that you need to wedge it. Put your hands on top. Squish it and turn it. Squish it and turn it. Squish and turn, always keeping it into a ball-ish shape. And you are going to do this 10 times. Remember the purpose of wedging is to remove any trapped air bubbles. So you have to use your muscles. Trapped air can cause your project to break when it is fired in the kiln. Okay guys, so when you have your giant chunk of clay wedged, you are going to grip it and twist it so that we are going to break it in half. So grip it and just start twisting and it should break in half. Boop, okay. So the halves might not be perfectly equal and that is okay. I'm gonna take my, one half of mine is gonna be sl is slightly larger. So I'm gonna make that to my lily pad. And so to do that, you just have it in a ball-ish shape. And I like to push it down with my hands to make it like a pancake. Please do not throw these down to make a slab that way. I know sometimes slabs are made that way, but we're probably not. You might even get a rolling pin. So, and it's going to be about the thickness again of a pancake that's probably pretty good and it might not fit my shape perfectly but that's okay so I'll get mine one more roll okay guys then I will lay my template and take a tool to cut my clay you're gonna be sharing templates for your lily pads. Sometimes you have to go back and forth a couple times with the tool that you're gonna cut before you can pop it out. Does not have to be perfect. Lily pads are not perfect anyway. Okay guys, so I've got this kind of Pac-Man shape. I like to rub my fingers along the sides so that there's no sharp edges when it finally does dry. Okay. On the back, we're going to need to put our names and it's gotta be very clear. So I might even tell you that I'm gonna do it for you. Um, so I'm gonna choose a site that's not as nice with my tool, very clearly, not digging in too deep. Take your time and write your name because this is gonna tell us whose frog is who. I like to use capital letters because curves are more difficult. If you have to drop down a line in the middle of your name, that's okay. Get rid of the crumbles. And there, I got Miss Langdon. Okay, going back to this. If you wanna pizzazz your lily pads, like start at this point right here and make lines going away from that triangle point. Again, not very deep. Then you are welcome to use lines to make your lily pad look a little bit more authentic. Okay guys, jumping to the frog. There's my lily pad, I'll set that aside. That's gonna be like a plate. I'm gonna get my um, piece and I'm going to squish it all into a ball. It's already pretty much wedged. I'm just reforming it into a ball-ish shape. The frog's face is what we're gonna work on. And the frog's face is a giant pinch pot. So remember what you're gonna do is, you're going to take your thumb, you're gonna stick it in the middle and you're gonna pinch and turn pinch and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn. And you are gonna keep pinching and turning to widen the mouth. Uh, press down at the bottom too, so it does not have too much clay down there. Think about what you're doing. If you make a mistake, you can squish it all up, but you will have to re-wedge it. All right, no problem. If it starts to rip a little bit, just use your fingers to form it. I'm gonna try to get you guys pretty soft clay, but that is not a guarantee. 
I'm pressing down here because I don't want it to end up having a flat bottom here. So I'm pressing the edges down here. Okay, guys. This is basically going to be my frog shape. And if that is um, where we have to stop today, then that's no problem. Again, I know that I make it look really easy and I know that this demonstration can be a long one. But if I want it to be more of a frog, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, when I'm happy with my pinch pot, the two of the edges, I'm going to kind of squish them a little bit. All right, so that's going to be more of his mouth and I can form that it more if I have time. If you run out of time, it's okay. If the bottom doesn't look as nice, don't worry because it's going to be sitting on your piece. Today, I'm probably just going to turn it upside down and set it there so that when I get it back in the next time, I'll be ready to add more of the details. All right, everybody, happy arting. Let's get messy.